Welcome back, Nat20, everyone. We're in this episode, we're doing something a bit different. So this is our inaugural episode of Drunkards and Dragons, whereas the title says we're drunk, or at least somewhat drunk. And in this session, Duncan is our dungeon master, and we've got, uh, well, Sebastian will uh, be here this session, but to replace him for the session, we've got our special guest and friend, Justin. Uh, so, Duncan, I just you might as well take it away. Alright, this is AA meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Duncan and I'm an alcoholic. No, anyway. Same. <laughs> <laughs> so, your name is Duncan too? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, seriously, can we play it? No. Please drink responsibly. Only drive when you're not drunk. <laughs> so the campaign begins with the party in the, the Hamlet of Faultley. <laughs> Thoughtly. Is there Thought. a tavern? <laughs> it's a I want to buy that horse for five gold, not seven. <laughs> Sorry, we're, we're ruining everything. The campaign right. begins with the party in the impoverished hamlet <laughs> of Thoughtly. So there's Armina. a cheat brothel, is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Charlotte ain't no. All right. What kind of uh, harlots are there? <laughs> <laughs> What's the man <laughs> Okay. But we... The sky is gray and dreary, and a light rain is falling. About three dozen houses are scattered around a central square, haphazardly placed, and a lot of parallel. A scattering of sodden chickens, muddy pigs, and one single pristine goat. Wander the streets. <laughs> a goat is a goat. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's owning it. I'm going to have to use my, my dimensional shackles on him. <laughs> a, a group of dirt covered children play in and around the well and Main Street, or on the main square, rather. A few of the more prominent townsfolk has just finished, finished filling you guys in on why you're here in the first place. What, Clayton? <laughs> How many moons are there? There's one moon. Do you ever know? <laughs> is it real? <laughs> right. well, the anyway, Did you guys have been hired. Landing? What? Did they pick their, their moon landing? <laughs> anyway. Gothic <laughs> style. <laughs> good joke, good joke. You guys have been hired by the townsfolk to investigate Eldrick Manor. Ooh, okay. Eldritch Blast is going to come into use here. Eldrick Manor. Was okay. once home to the Eldrick family. Okay, okay. Well, Manor is a totally liable last name, so I was born. No, their last name was Eldrick. <laughs> <laughs> I know that now. <clears throat> they were a noble, highborn family, and they were always generous when it came to the people living in Fawley, going out of their way to purchase goods and produce from the villagers, even though they could have easily gone to one of the nearby cities. The father of the family, known as Sylvester, was a knowledgeable healer and often treated the villagers free of charge. The eldest daughter was especially loved by the townsfolk, known for her kindness and her beauty. She often played with the children of the body. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Why are you laughing at Justin? You looked at me and I could not smile. I didn't have to... Clayton raised his eyebrows at me. Why did not? <laughs> anyway. The eldest daughter often played with the children of the village and occasionally brought them trinkets and toys that their families could never have afforded them. Tragically, the entire Eldrick family fell to the plague around three weeks past. The plague. The Eldrick house now lies empty, about an hour's walk away from the village. Longer than a fortnight. Barely, but yes. <laughs> you, can ride the dope. you can do whatever you want. I want Let me finish it. the intro, Justin. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Anyway, your party has been hired by the people of Fotley to travel to Eldrick Manor and investigate it. Despite being supposedly empty, there have been reports of screams, intrigues, and other ungodly noises coming from the manor late at night. This was reported by the shepherd's son, who was out tending their sheep late at night and strayed a little too close to the manor. It was this crying wolf person. There's, been a lo- there's also been a reported increase in the wolf population, causing the livestock population of Fotley to drop rather drastically. As such, the villagers cannot offer you much in the way of payment, but the Eldrick Manor purportedly has many treasures within it, so since nobody's there anymore. So we're allowed to rob their beloved family's <laughs> belongings? 
You'll have to go there and find out. We don't need gold. Yo, <clears throat> is this Scooby Doo? <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? All right, stop. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are in the central square of town, and you're not free to do as you wish. I would like to approach the canvas and introduce our characters. Oh yeah. Um, uh, can we go around in a circle and introduce our characters, please? Tony, we're starting with you. We should start with our what? guest. Yeah, he's the most important one, so I was going to do him last. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, All right, anyway, Justin, our special guest today, can you please go first? I said he was going last. All right, (laughs) Justin, go first. Justin doesn't know what to do, so we're going to do the rest of us first so he knows what to do. Oh, that's fair. Tony, you go first. All right. (laughs) I played my phone up. So my character's name is uh, Dr. Deserus. I am a plague doctor. Um, Whoa. Are you a real doctor? He said he's a flag doctor. Yeah. <laughs> so kind of. So, so, so no. no. Yeah, for the most part. So, um, Sorry, sir. You have Do- to Dr. Phil? No. You have to play, sir. Your wife That's a good job. job. <laughs> um, is doctor your first name? No. Dr. <laughs> Dr. Strange. Oh, we're using our made up name. <laughs> uh, uh, anyways, I am a Shredder Kai, and I am an artificer. And that's pretty much my whole shtick. How old are you? I didn't actually think that went through. <laughs> uh, What's your weight? I'm not like, matter. I'm probably like, uh, you know, six feet at least. <laughs> Clayton? <laughs> My name is Soro. Uh, Soro. Soro. Okay. As in Sadman. Soro. Uh, I am a purple tiefling. Uh, I am a wizard uh, in the divination school. Uh, I'm lawful neutral. Uh, I drink whiskey sours at least three before bed. Uh, I don't trust anybody, especially not plague doctors. Uh, <laughs> Yo, man, that plague will get you. I had to murder yeah, my own father. So I'm interested. <laughs> I had to murder my own father after I found out he put a hit on my, on my mother in order to claim life insurance money. So I lived a comfortable lifestyle, but then lived a lie until I had to kill my own dad. Isn't that something we're supposed to find out later on? (laughs) No, I'm just going to tell you it's a (laughs) one-off. That's so fun. I was thinking when we met, it's like the first thing I said. Hey guys. My dad killed my mom. (laughs) And then I killed my dad. But yeah, I'm a tiefling. I'm a wizard. Let's do this. Right. Exactly. (laughs) Okay. Uh, I'm Luth Stormwind. I'm a human... Uh, Warlock, I made a pact with a demon to gain some power in order to uh, rise up as a chief to my clan. Uh, Things didn't really work out, and now I'm here. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. Suicide squad, basically. Our shit didn't work out. Oh, what are we? Some sort of suicide squad? I haven't even seen that movie. I heard it was bad. I think that's an actual that. quote. It was, it was, yeah. it was yeah. a name yeah. drop. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, my character is Rowan Navara. He's a bard slash fighter, and he's an actor. He's human. So basically, he uh, was a big actor back in the day, but has lost his thrill, and not many people care about him anymore. So he's decided to go into method acting. So he's decided, he's decided to go on an actual ad- adventure. So to try to uh, play his role better. Method actors uh, act through meth, right? Take a shot of meth. And good one. It's <laughs> not a good one. A shot of meth. Please cut this part. Oh, <laughs> Reminder, please cut this part. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing we have a doctor with us. <laughs> yeah, please cut that part. All right, uh, Justin. I'm playing a character named Charlotte. She like broke away from her noble family. To pursue a life of adventure, she's a human rogue, and um, she has a knack for getting herself into trouble and trying to get out of trouble. Yeah. Excellent. Is that is Charlotte just like an embodiment of you? Yeah. <laughs> Mine is a noble family part, maybe. An <laughs> acting All right. So, what do you guys want to do? I would like to approach the goat. Full <laughs> self. What? Roll stealth. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, roll stealth! I'm sorry! I'm plus zero on stealth. I bet you this goat's gonna kill you. 13. <laughs> this goat is straight up gonna kill you. <laughs> Fucking bring it, you stupid goat. <laughs> the goat notices your approach. And charges you. Are you serious? <laughs> I just wanted to say I'm a fucking goat. Okay, I will... 
<laughs> Hit it with my fucking dagger. Please don't. <laughs> I'm going to throw my dagger at him. It started charging at me. I'm going to stop. And he's going to kill this goat because you pissed it off. <laughs> I walked up and it started charging me, so I'm going to throw my dagger you at You scared it and it charged It's a wild fucking animal. <laughs> it's a domestic animal. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you, you can half of their livestock just got eaten by wolves and you're going to kill one of their last. dagger <laughs> walked up it's on me. It's a pristine goat. <laughs> It walked up on me. All right, roll the hit. <laughs> Can I roll to stop him? Yes. I, roll, I rolled a twelve. We don't even know each other yet. <laughs> Zach rolled. The Can we How all stop him? Uh, wanna... As I see him reaching for his dagger, I'll just like grab his arm. Okay, just make a grapple check then. Isn't that a strength uh, contest? Strength. Sure, make it a strength. <laughs> rolled an eight. So, what do you want me to add to that? Your strength. You have seven. Because I rolled like shit. <laughs> Alright. It's amazing. Roll for damage. Can I, 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 can I put my yes, dimensional shackles on him? I did, I did one point of damage. Luckily, you have bad aim. So your dagger bounced off the horn of the goat and only scraped its scalp a little bit. All the villagers are now pissed off at you, though. <laughs> I turn and I say, Please stop. <laughs> And we're back away. <laughs> that goat approached me. Don't pick up my dagger. Okay. <laughs> is, there, is, there, is there someone notable that we're talking to about this quest? Well, we we're talking about we're, we're talking like village people, but is there anyone like yeah. notable? So there is like a village headsman that you can go find, um, and he can give you some extra details. And what you can also do is go and find the shepherd's boy, and maybe he can tell you some more info. Give you some more details on what you was hearing at night. So, do we know each other as a party, or do we just? You guys would have some cursory knowledge of each other. You know, you would have you know, traveled here and you would have met each other. Okay. <clears throat> Probably not like long-lasting relationships. Though. I just say to the the village people, and I like kind of like point uh, in Soros' <laughs> direction. I'm like, I'm not associated with that man. <laughs> All right. As One it, of the local village girls comes up with a needle and thread and starts stitching up the goat's scalp. <laughs> <laughs> thread? How else do you stitch up anything? I thought there was like a special thing that you. These are poor, poor, impoverished people. They have I'm thread. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> if they're so poor, why do they have like a pristine goat? Yeah, it's just a special goat that you tried to kill. Anyway, I didn't try to kill. I wanted to scare it. <laughs> my knife. With my <laughs> Jonah digress. It was coming at me. I'm gonna walk up to uh, Doctor. I don't. I can't remember your, your last name. Yes, 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 yes. I'm just gonna call you Doctor. <laughs> That's doctor. Right. And doctor. I'm gonna be like, "Hey, Doctor, I think I pulled something trying to stop him. Got any, you got anything that helped with the pain?" <laughs> well, I have some needles that I usually use to uh, help people with the plague, but I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. Really Stick it like. in me. <laughs> <laughs> I. I grab a needle from an unknown <laughs> substance. <laughs> I, s- I stab him with it uh, in no particular place. <laughs> Actually, no, I pull his arm. All right. And I look to see where I think <laughs> a vein would be. And I just kind of like <laughs> Kind of around, like, you know, all like right. the inner elbow joint area. How sterile do you keep your equipment? Not at all. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm a constitution constitution saving I roll for syphilis. <laughs> That's a 15. Luckily, you have a pretty good immune system, so there probably won't be, any neg- won't be any negative side effects. It should be, like, positive or negative. Like, you know, it's like someone's, like, in battle, it's like, please heal me, and I stab them, and it's like, <laughs> either going to heal them or I just kill them. <laughs> anyway, I said, there, that should help you right up. Cool. I'll, I'll thank you. <laughs> nice. I will <laughs> Do yeah. I feel anything from that? Not yet. <laughs> okay, who are we supposed to talk to? The shepherd? You can go talk to the village headsman, even though you were just talking to him. Um, you can go catch him as he was walking away, or you can go find the shepherd's boy. <clears throat> I will salute to the shepherd's boy. I'll just say to everyone, let's go find the shepherd's boy. I'm already, <laughs> I'm already <laughs> sleuthing. <clears throat> It'll ask someone nearby, where's the shepherd's okay. boy? So you walk up to one of the village <laughs> women, let's say, and you ask her what the shepherd's boy, and she'll just tell you, oh, he's probably out in the field tending the sheep. Um, if you just walk along the path, 
on the road towards Eldrick Manor. I'm sure you'll come across him. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll be sure to, to go there. <laughs> <laughs> Without waiting for everyone else, I run down the path. <laughs> See, you think you're cool, but I'm already running down the path. <laughs> right, are you guys nice race. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing then? You heading for the manor? You just... uh, I'm heading for the shepherd's boy. I'm <laughs> waiting for these drugs to kick in. <laughs> 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 Turns out the unknown substance was just tar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you're gonna, your, your heart's going to see you after a while. Oh. Tar, just, we're going to get to like, the we're last battle and you're going to help. I am ready to fight. <laughs> <laughs> I can't move. Uh, I'm going to sleuth yeah, for, the, for the shepherd's boy. I must find him. I'll just walk towards where the lady told us to go. <laughs> yeah, you don't know where he is. <laughs> She said he might be on the path. It's not guaranteed. I'm here to solve that mystery. <laughs> yeah, it's really an actual skill that you have. Sleuthing, it's investigation. It's a okay. skill I do possess. Okay. It's a long investigation <laughs> check. Yes. I'm a detective, by the way, so this is a nice skill. <clears throat> I rolled 22. You walk up to the same lady <laughs> that we just asked about where the shepherd's boy was, and she tells Excuse me, man. The exact <laughs> same thing. Something tells me my detective, my detective instinct told me that you know where I can find the shepherd boy. Uh, yes, I just told your friend that. I have no friends. <laughs> That's something I can't help you. With. <laughs> no one can, and I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> You're not sleuthing anymore? <laughs> no, I'm sad. <laughs> Go sleuth. There's some friends, man. <laughs> I, will, I, I will find the boy. <clears throat> Can I investigate for friends? <laughs> if you really want. No, it was a joke. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just um, head the path. I guess we're all just headed down the path. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm ahead of the pack, and so, I'm not looking at where I'm walking, and I run into a little boy. Yes. Yes? All right. yes. Is he the shepherd's boy? He is not the shepherd's boy. <laughs> Can you get a sign? Oh, okay. You are walking down the path, and since you're not watching where you're going, you do in fact run into a little boy. <laughs> He's attacking him! He's <laughs> three years old. How tall are you, roughly? We'll go five five. Okay, you completely knock him on his ass. <laughs> All right. His mom, who's standing about ten feet away from him runs up to you and starts just hysterically screaming at you. How can you do that? What are you doing? Watch where you're going. Watch Back away from the woman. woman. <laughs> <laughs> so inconsiderate. Charlotte is innocent. I'll Her child is in the way. Okay. <laughs> I walk up and I'm like, <laughs> these are some <laughs> fine, healthy looking kids. I uh, sure hope they don't get the plague. <laughs> <laughs> the mom just kind of looks at you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> the box will take you to I got some vaccines. I can, I can offer Please stay you. away from me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, uh, I walk up to the little boy and crouch down as she's yelling. And I say, little boy, can't trust anyone in this life. All right? <laughs> the little boy turns to Luth, who's still holding his hand, fearfully takes his hand away and walks towards his mom. <laughs> Don't turn your back on people. <laughs> the mom picks up her child and they both walk away without looking back. Very hurriedly. Stop terrorizing the village, people. Please. <laughs> you tried to kill that goat and now you're going to try the ki- to kill this kid? I wasn't going to kill this kid. I gave him some life lessons. <laughs> Can't trust anybody. Can't hear trust as each other. You hear as they're walking away. Don't listen to the crazy men, sweetie. They'll be gone soon. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't react. Okay. So you guys are leaving town? I'm going to yeah, be, yes. like, doing, uh, little jogs as we're going along to try and get my blood flowing. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to, nothing happens yet. I'm going right? to do a bunch of burpees <laughs> as we go up the fucking hill. Just to get some blood flowing, you know? Okay. As you guys are leaving town, can you all roll a perception check? Perception check, please. I'm hoping for a name drop. This is an 8. I rolled a 13. I got, I got a 13. <clears throat> Alright, Luth and Sorrow, you guys notice oh, eight. three young girls watching you leave town. And as you guys are about to cross the thresh- threshold from the village outside, they run towards you and they tug on the doctor's robes. Watch purses. 
<laughs> <laughs> I don't trust these bitches. So. <laughs> um, so these are fairly young girls, maybe like five or six years old, and as they grab your attention, the the tallest one, who seems to be the leader of the three, asks, "Are you going to the big house?" All my female voices sound distinct. <laughs> All women are the same. <laughs> Are you going to the big house? Uh, don't answer that, Doctor. What do you want to know for? Don't answer. Oh, uh, yes, answer. we are going to the big house you over there. Are you guys going to see what happened to the They're elders? fucking talking to us. Okay, uh, well, I mean, they probably died of the plague. It's pretty dangerous. <laughs> but doesn't that mean you shouldn't go there? Well... I cure the plague, so I thought I'd help out. We yes, do this for a living. Doctor. The oh. thing about being an adult is I can do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, and then the middle girl pulls out a, a, knife a, knife. <laughs> a daisy chain tiara oh, okay. <laughs> and gives it to the doctor. Uh, Here, this will keep you safe. I don't trust uh, that at all, man. Why, thank you. Uh, I, I appreciate the gesture. Um, I take it, and I, I will put it no! on my <laughs> no! head. No! No! Can I try and stop and him? I'll put it on my head, uh, as they're here to show that, you know. Okay, uh, nothing happens. It's a daisy chain tiara. Right? These are three little girls. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'll say, uh, you brave little kids. Here, take this gold piece and go, go on home to your mom. Okay, the middle one grabs it. And stares at it like she's never seen anything like it before. And she quickly, she looks up at you and she's like, thank you so much. And she just runs off, presumably towards her house, to her parents. Cool. I give the other little girl two gold coins. <laughs> They're gone already. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like suddenly the one right I did. I, I, I was going to give okay, the third it. little girl three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as soon as they run off, I take the tear off my head. Can, but I, I'll, can I have it? Don't I? I, have a, I, I can investigate it for you if you want. I want to feel so pretty. <laughs> Charlotte, let me investigate first, please. <laughs> I think it's just a tiara, guys. The pretty lady wants the pretty tiara. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel beautiful. I don't trust that tiara. We should burn it. I'm just going to hold on to it. Uh, do, you really want, do, do you really want this, Charlotte? Yes, I do. It'd be so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I yeah, I guess you can have it if you want. No, I'll, I'll I'll pass it to you. I put the TR on. It's <laughs> cursed. <laughs> it fits nice with my long black hair. Cool. <laughs> Absolutely outstanding. You got Nothing balls, happens. Charlotte. <laughs> Nothing. It's just a tiara. <clears throat> okay. We continue to walk down the path. I don't trust those little girls. These little girls. Come so they're gonna come back. I know it. They're ghosts. So you guys are continuing on down the path. Yeah. Are you gonna try and find the shepherd's boy? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. sleuth. Okay. Roll investigation, please. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? Roll perception. Perception. Roll perception. Fourteen. As you're walking down the path, you see a boy with about six sheep, maybe three hundred meters <laughs> off the path. <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> I found a sheep man. <laughs> I believe he's the boy we're looking for. I will run towards the boy. Good investigating. Thank you. Okay. Your running scares the sheep. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Like 200 yards. You said it was feet, right? 200 feet away. It's like, like 300 meters. Oh, 300 meters? Yeah. 200 meters away, I'll say, little boy, we must speak with you. The little boy turns around and seeing... Five adults standing behind one screaming and running adult. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> screaming, I'm yelling. He's a little alarmed, but stands his ground. Is, is it because I'm a tiefling? I say that. Is it because I'm a tiefling? <laughs> he turns from you to one of the other people. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Can I help you guys? Yes, uh, we were wondering if you knew anything about the Eldrix family or oh. Eldrick Manor. Eldrick anything Manor. that's happened to them since. Are you the ones who are coming to investigate it? Yes, we are, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, the name's Rowan. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm, uh, I'm Charlie. Nice to meet you. 
I did find that beforehand. So, <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Do you know anything about a chocolate factory? A what factory? <laughs> chocolate stuff, Adam. Charlie, my good sir. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're going to investigate, so any uh, hints or tips or tricks or anything you know about the matter would be well appreciated. Well, all I can really tell you is that... Uh, I was over here oh, two weeks ago tending the sheep late at night and I heard these unearthly screams and these howls sounded like some I don't even I can't even it was like a monster screaming at the top of his lungs coming from the house and I, we all thought that the house was empty the Eldricks they all they all died nearly a month ago so uh, I mean that's all I really know I this is exactly what I told the village chief. I don't really have any more information. Thanks for your help, lad. Here's two gold coins. <laughs> Again, he takes these two gold coins <laughs> and stares at them like he's never seen this before. And then he quickly pockets it and he's like, cool. Thank you very much. Does he also run away? <laughs> no, he saved the sheep. Oh, okay. However, can you guys have a little perception check, please? Oh, boy. One. Okay. Three. A twenty-three. Nine. <laughs> Everybody except for uh Tec- Soro. Technically was a four. Natural one is still a one. That's fine. Alright. Notices a group, a pack of six wolves and one dire wolf charging towards the sheep. <laughs> natural natural selection at its finest. Without thinking I jump in front of the sheep. Wow. With my dagger out. What a hero. Charlotte, why are you jumping? You'll alarm the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> the sheep were all bleeding nervously in a circle around the shepherd. Calm the down, sheep. I apologized to your brother earlier. The one I threw a knife at. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I would be like, is this where we fight the wolves? What wolves? <laughs> Those wolves. <laughs> I looked the other way. <laughs> what wolves? <laughs> You fools, this is no time for games. I'll pull up my rod, and I'll be like, that way! <laughs> I, I look. <gasps> Alright, you guys are engaging the wolves? No. <laughs> Why should we fight these dumb wolves? We have stuff to do. How far away are they? They're about 200 feet, but close and fast. Okay. I run towards the wolves. <laughs> no, Charlie! <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Engaging the wolves, we shall. Everyone roll initiative. Now 20. Name drop. Name drop. <laughs> 15. Unfortunately, we didn't have also got in there. I rolled a 12. <clears throat> but I didn't run towards them, so how far away am I when we combat starts? I don't think any of us do besides. No, I can't play. I totally forgot about my. Can you be a 21? Construct. I love how the rogue. What's, well, what's a good name for a Raven construct? Jim. Jeffrey. Odin. Frank. Jeffy. <laughs> Try Odin. <laughs> okay, Justin, what do you for initiative? 18. Just engage 20. Yeah, 20, but 24. Zach. 21. Sorry. 12. Um, 15. Oh, I guess I, I forgot my plus 5. I guess 23. Oh, okay. Ooh. Guess it could be your 21. Oh, that's in Duncan? <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Okay. You fucking <clears throat> fool. Alright. Uh, Gage, you're up first. I'll Gage. use Thunder Wave on these wolves. Okay. Who's Gage? I don't know any gauge. I There's only, a gauge here. I, I only <laughs> respond to Rowan. Sorry. Rowan. <laughs> Rowan <laughs> Nirvana. <laughs> You're rowing me. <laughs> oh boy. You're rousy. <laughs> Thunderwave, you don't have to roll the hit, right? No, it's saving throws. Okay. <clears throat> Is that a dex? Is that a reference to Rowan Adam? No, uh, it's a dex, isn't it? No, I wish. <laughs> I, I think it's a dex saving throw. It's either dex or con. I'll check. I think it's con. I think it's dex actually. No, it is con. Is it con? I think it is con. We're professionals. Yeah, constitution same throw. Okay. I'll cast it at second level. Okay. What's the DC? Uh, eighteen. 
Okay, only the dire wolf succeeds. <clears throat> How much damage is that? Uh, it is. Oh, well, that's a freak. Just nine damage. Okay. <clears throat> and that's a five foot square, right? Uh, it's a fifteen foot cone cube. Okay. <clears throat> Wow, you almost one shot all of these dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> the dire wolf, however, is still turning straight through the shepherd and his flock. Uh, Justin, you're up next. Kill it. Kill the dire wolf, Charlotte! I take out my short bow. Mm-hmm. Duncan, also, the dire wolf takes half damage. Right, okay. I take out my short bow and notch and get a f- how many wolves are there? There's six wolves and one dire wolf. Okay. Uh, I would. Attempt to use my bow on them. Okay. On which one? One of the wolves or the dire wolf? I go for the dire wolf. Dire wolf? Okay. Uh, roll the hit. So that's d20. Does the rogue, rogue have multi attack? I don't think so. No. Legless, shoot him! <laughs> Take him down, Legless! <laughs> um, so just roll a d20. Okay. And add your dexterity and your proficiency bonus. So add 10. Yeah. 26. Yeah, I'm going to say that hits. Roll for damage. What is a short roll? Like 1d6? 1d6. Oh, is it? Oh, wait, right. one was d8. Yep. This is d6, yep. Yeah. d6 is a cube. And then you add 5. Yeah, and then add your dexterity bonus. Uh, so that's 10. And 10 damage total? Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Alright. You catch the dire wolf in, in its shoulder. It stumbles but continues running towards the flock. <clears throat> okay. A sturdy wolf. Now it's the wolf's turn. They all reach the flock at the exact same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like one sheep per wolf kind of thing. Oh, are, are Since like, you guys are standing between the flock and uh, the wolves, they're actually going to attack you instead. Oh, good shit. I didn't run towards them. I did. I actually waved. Yeah, well, I, I did was not. Like I mean, so she's like way ahead. No okay. attempts to approach. <laughs> so they all Rally just attacked her. Ran up. Okay. So... Charlotte, you're going to be attacked by two of the wolves. Nice. <coughs> what? Yeah, they both miss horrifically. Charlotte's always winning. <laughs> Rowan, as well, two of the wolves. They also both miss horrifically. Yay! You're also there, right? Yeah. Ruth, two of the wolves. One of them, what's your, what's your armor class? 15. Misses. They both miss. <laughs> <laughs> These wolves suck! <laughs> Direwolf is going to attack Charlotte and trips and falls. <laughs> okay, tell, um, Doctor, it's your turn. So is, is that six drinks then? Do <laughs> <laughs> you want to finish this session? <laughs> I'll drink to that. I am going to reach into my alchemist satchel mm-hmm. and pour an alchemical fire potion. And throw it at them. Okay. Um, which... You don't set fire to the bastard. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Dude, screw these wolves, man. <laughs> but this will affect the city's crops and livestock. What? Almost like throwing a dagger at a goat will. Oh, did I kill said <laughs> goat? No! You fucking tried to. No, no. Is that a force? I guarantee you a goat has more than five hit points. I actually don't know. Alright, so it does a five foot radius, and they must succeed on a dexterity saving throw. Did you throw it at the wolves? Yes. Or at the dire wolf? Uh, actually, no, I'll throw it at the dire wolf. The dire wolf? Screw oh, that guy. <laughs> okay, five foot radius? Yeah, between... Dex yeah. save? Yes, sir. He's, yeah, he fails. Nice. I'm rolling like ass right uh, now. I haven't rolled a single one above ten. Since I'm 13 level. Alright, so that does 5d6 damage. Ooh, that's spicy. My fucking wolves, man. <laughs> like Reggie's wolves. Six, seven. Uh, that does 20 fire damage. 20? Yeah. This dire wolf is looking pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, fuck him up! <laughs> is that a fur is singed? It was not a pun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then then I, as, I, as I threw that, I shouted, uh... I hope the plague gets you. <laughs> it growls at you. <laughs> Luth, you're up. Okay. 
Yeah, you rolled a 21. Yeah. <laughs> Poor <dude. laughs> So all the wolves are still alive? They're barely moving back. <laughs> you almost one-shot them and they're still kicking? Yeah. <laughs> I won't even need to go. This is dope. <laughs> so you're Get saying him, that... Um, <laughs> A fireball would be very advantageous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please do not set fire to the pasture. <laughs> you would hit them all, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're gonna burn this village down. So I have my mace out. I'm going to use yeah. a bonus action to mm-hmm. make it a a flame tongue, which is a great sword that does extra fire damage. Oh yeah! By the way, everyone, we all got really dope items, and Zach's character has the rod of lordly might. <laughs> not broken. Not at all. So, so I shouldn't pick my item yet. <laughs> pick pick with with this great one. sword, I'm yeah, going to uh, hit, so cool. attempt to hit the uh, <laughs> dire wolf once, and then the closest other wolf. Okay. Okay. Oh. Fifteen. Hits. What? Oh, right. You plus twelve to hit. I was like, roll the three. <laughs> <laughs> and a uh, twenty-two. Also hits. <clears throat> What's that do? Great sword damage. Roll your dice, you drunk. Which is 11 plus strength. It's 15 plus another 2d6 fire damage. So 18 plus plus 3, so 21. This is to the direwolf? Yes. Okay. This fucker better be dead. <laughs> is the direwolf transformed to its second form? <laughs> no. And then on the other wolf, it's 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 3 is 12. And another 2d6 fire is 6, so 18. All right. So with one swing of your sword, you full on cleave the direwolf's head completely off its body, and you just leave behind a faint smell of singed fur and burnt meat. Cool. And then on your follow up swing, you catch another one of the wolves right across the front of its chest. It was already limping and barely moving. <laughs> and honestly, like you cleaved halfway through its body, it's also just completely Ooh. destroyed. Five wolves are left. I'm fine with that. Clayton, <clears throat> sorry, sorrow. It is not your turn. Okay, there's five wolves left? There are five wolves left. Uh, uh, the wolves, would they all be in a five-foot radius sphere? Yes. Excellent. I am, uh, I will, uh, leap forwards and uh, I will cast Snilak Snowball Swarm, uh, okay. which is a second level spell. Uh, so, a flurry of magic snowballs erupts from a point yes, you choose yeah, within range. Each creature in a five foot radius sphere center on that point must make a dex saving throw. They have to beat a 20. They all fail horribly. <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> That's 3d6 damage for the pair of them. Wonderful. 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 Is this hitting all the wolves? Uh, I can. If they're in a five foot radius sphere, they'll all take damage. Yeah. As I launch countless numbers of snowballs at them. Amazing. Uh, oh, Kill them with snowballs. Four, five, six. Uh, this is like an elf when uh, Buddy and his, uh, <laughs> <I'm not laughs> his brother end up in a snowball fight, and Buddy just throws a snowball after snowball. Thanks. Good reference, bro. <laughs> Thanks. Blast them. I'm pissed off. <laughs> Okay, uh, do you add any to spells? Like, do you add, like, any kind of mods, or is it just nope. straight damage? To hit or for damage? For damage. Oh, no, come on. No, just straight damage? Yeah. Okay, well, everyone takes six damage. Okay. Are they all dead? The remaining five wolves are lying on the ground. Their bodies are bent and broken, having been beaten into submission by snowball <laughs> after snowball. <laughs> and it's not even winter yet, you fucking losers. A mound of slush just covers their bodies. Nothing is moving. All the wolves are dead. You guys destroyed them. Seems Good that job. winter is coming. <laughs> <laughs> winter is coming, <laughs> gone, my friend. That was just so funny. Yo, so one of the magical items you can get is yes, an alchemy sir. jug. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah, love yeah, alchemy jugs, like man. A, yeah, and it can store 12... Uh, Oh, it's a gallon of liquid? Yeah. And one of the gallons you can pick is mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah, I just, know. just think about that. <laughs> Anyways, sorry, continue. Oh, that's not what you're picking? Okay. No, I'm anyway. not that. I want a fucking gallon of mayonnaise. <laughs> All we have a steak with the shackles. <laughs> <laughs> we have one! <laughs> okay. I turn to the shepherd's boy. That'll be two gold pieces, please. <laughs> he hurriedly goes into his pocket, reaches for the two gold pieces, then gives them back to you. 
I take them and then I give them to him. I say, for your trouble. <laughs> and Warden yeah. really accepts them and looks very, very confused. Stop I confusing the boy! I laughed myself. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I couldn't have done anything against those beasts. Um, here, I have this, this little trinket I can give you for payment. It's not much, but it's very important to me. And he hands you a small statue of a dog. It's like a child's toy. Oh. <clears throat> Thank you. I have nothing meaningful in my life. I will treasure this. <laughs> Alright. I put it in my bag of holding. I don't have a bag of holding. I just put it in my bag. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> what if it's true taking a bag of holding for our magic items? I have a bag of holding. Well, it's a one off. We're going to get yeah. a bunch of stuff. So. I have a bag of holding. What? what? Yeah. Oh, right, because you were a oh. professor. I'm yeah, just gonna wear everything we find. <laughs> Go I don't trust dog. you that you'll give me my dog figurine back, though, so I'll keep that on me. I want to wear your dog figurine. I like the tiara. <laughs> you want to wear the dog figurine? It's mine, Charlotte. Oh, no. You already got the tiara. <laughs> Next time, Zoro. It's Zoro. Zoro. <laughs> I heard Zoro. <laughs> There's Zoro in my heart. <laughs> Let's go with the snatch. <laughs> Alright, what do you do with the figure? I put it in my bag. All right. Oh wait, can I check? Uh, like check it? Like Arcana check it? Can I investigate it? Can I please Arcana check can it? You it? Okay, you can kind of check it. Fifteen. You do sense a bit of magic. Wait, coming really? from this dog statue. Do I know what I you at? Make an intelligence check. Straight intelligence. Straight intelligence. <clears throat> You're a wizard, so you have advantage. I'll give you advantage oh. on that. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, 18. Alright. You suspect that this is a figurine of wondrous power. <gasps> really? You have no idea why this shepherd's boy has one. Or why he would just give it away. What kind of... Which one is it? Like, the, the mastiff? It's, it's an honest, honest dog. It's a mastiff. <clears throat> I take it. Knowing what it is, I smile most deviously to myself. And I put it in my bag and I say, Thank you, you foolish little boy. <laughs> and then I, then I walk away. But I do thank him. You're a shitty person, but okay. I, I no, that's fine. It's fine. <laughs> My character is a right. person. You said gothic. Yep. <laughs> I, I sense that he's being weird about this. <laughs> do you sense that he's being weird about this? I I go to talk to the boy okay. about the figurine. The figurine. All right. What do you say? Can you tell us again where you got this? It was a gift to me from, um, from the eldest daughter of the Eldritch family. Well, his accent changed. <laughs> Sorry, he aged like five years. <laughs> How are you doing, man? Shut the fuck up. I'm going to characters. My first thought was going to be, hi, my name is Brian Rumpel. <laughs> I'm a forged domain cleric, which means I do nothing. <laughs> You know how many times I've saved your ass? I know. Yeah. Shots fired. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah, that's all I have to say. I hold, I hold on to that tidbit of information. Could prove useful. Yeah. You do recall um, the village has been telling you about the Eldritch family somewhat and saying that the eldest daughter of the Eldritch family was particularly beloved among the townspeople because she would go out of her way to play with the children and often give them little trinkets and figurines. So we should go talk to all the children and take their trinkets and figurines. <laughs> 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 Does each of them have a figure of Umbridge power? That'd be so cool. Are they like the Infinity Stones? Wait! My, is the pristine goat the figurine of Umbridge's power with like the goat? <laughs> I did think of that after, Yeah, but it's not. Oh, uh, that'd be <laughs> so good. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna make my way back up the path now. Okay, you guys are just gonna continue on to the manor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose so. Alright, it's about another 40 minute walk to get there. Jesus. It's, it's a long ways. I think the uphill. eldest daughter made this walk like every day. She was dedicated. She was nice. I'm someone else. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. She, like, one of those <laughs> behind my <laughs> no. <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys approach and you see coming, like, as you approach in the distance, this enormous gothic style Victorian era house like tall spires and all the windows have bars over them as you get closer which you think is a little weird but whatever you know to each their own there is a very tall wall 
about, well, not very tall. It's about eight feet high running around the grounds of the property with this. That's not that tall. Yeah, you could probably climb over it if you tried really hard. But it's there for a message. And two Victorian-style gates, these tall wrought iron gates blocking the way. I try the gate. The gate opens, it's not locked. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> I go up to the wall and use my acrobatic skills to climb over. Make an acrobatic check. Or an athletics check, whatever you want. Um, 26. You climb over the wall like you were born to do it. <laughs> you, you make a sick three-point landing on the other side, superhero <laughs> style. It's pretty awesome. I you beat everybody skills. inside. You are now in the in the lead, yeah. <laughs> I'll pretend with that. <laughs> Everybody make a perception check, please. See if he's in front of us or <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, he's taking the lead. Twenty-three. Uh okay. fourteen. Fifteen. S- Seventeen. Bitch. Alright, this is my minus one. You Five. <laughs> Alright. Charlotte notices nothing. The rest of you all notice a figure looking at you from one of the windows. And he just quickly ducks back behind the curtain. What's your name again? Uh, Rowan. Rowan. You catch a better glimpse than the rest of them and see that it's an elderly man. From the information that was given to you by the villagers, you suspect that it's the Aldrich's butler. But you don't know for sure. I thought this house was supposed to be empty. I believe I just saw the uh, butler in the window. Did you guys see that too? I saw a man. From what I've heard, it seems it looked like it was their butler. From what I've heard, did they tell us about a butler? Did they? I'm pretty pumped about that landing. landing. I didn't mention. Will he be of? Do you think he'll be of assistance? Or I think he he impede our efforts. It seemed kind of odd that he like dove away from the window as soon as we saw him. That's he still lives here. He's hiding something. He could be. He may just not be expecting visitors. He probably murdered that entire family. Why don't you go I and mean, investigate that? In, <laughs> in all of the shows that I've performed, the butler's always the one who's done it. So Exactly. You can't trust butlers. I'll, I approach the door and I knock heavily. I'll approach the door before him. Okay. Why? Wow. <laughs> I approach the door before him. As you guys walk up to the house, you begin to notice more detail. Like It's amazing architecture, this house. You have no idea how such an amazing feat of architecture could be so close to the shitty hamlet of Folly. It would be nice. There are poor people. Yeah, there are poor people. Anyway, I bet this family took all of their money. (coughs) Capitalism. (laughs) Like, the eldest daughter was just giving kids back (laughs) their (laughs) stuff. One of the most notable things as you approach the door are two life-size statues of dire wolves wearing laurel wreaths around their heads like a crown. What do you mean by laurel? Like, you know, like, like a more flowers. Like leaves and flowers. Oh, like okay. a Caesar thing. Okay. Yeah. Like you would a Caesar. <clears throat> I want to replace my tiara with one and I go to grab There's it. There's stone. It's carved <coughs> into the stone. Like, you're not going to go for it. Oh, I thought it was like the stone and then something on top. No. They're stone. They're wreaths. The wreaths are um, stone, yeah. I thought I wrote down what they were, but they're just stone. You're right, though, Charlotte. That would have looked good on you. Sorry. I use my thieves tools to pick at them. <laughs> you don't need, you need like a chisel. You don't need. Okay. What are you pick? trying to do? I'm sorry. <clears throat> are you trying to take them off? Yeah. <laughs> With like my with these tools. Okay, make a chisel. Tool. Make it. Please make a check with your thieves tools. This is not what they're meant to do. So you have Roll and add your proficiency modifier and your dexterity modifier. Uh, Eleven. My dexterity modifier. Is plus five. Your proficiency 21. Is plus five. Yeah. So 21. <laughs> Nothing happens. <laughs> you can't take them off because you don't have a hammer and chisel, and these are stone. <laughs> these are meant to pick locks, not chisel stone. <laughs> I, I, put, I put my tools back. <laughs> Charlotte, I told you. <coughs> they would have looked good, but I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, make a perception check, please. Ooh. Ooh. 19. But that is it's a nat 20. 20. Natural oh, 20 is a critical success. Bro. 20. As you're fiddling Stop around with these statues, your hand slips inside the mouth of one of the dialogues, Never. and you just happen to notice that the back tooth is loose and can be depressed like a button. I depress it like a button. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Nothing happens. <gasps> Step back. <gasps> okay. I, the, uh, do I notice this? So I should just ask that. Do, do I you notice? convey the information? 
Uh, Yelp. <laughs> you can go check it out. I, I go check out the tooth. <laughs> I sleuth it. Okay. I'm going to investigate. I'm check tugging on the front door. <laughs> You're talking about the front door? Yeah. Like, did you knock? No. Let, oh, okay. Let me in. Um, Let me in. Oh my god. The door opened inward, so nothing happened. <laughs> oh, roll oh. 15. You suspect that there's more to this than just this one little button. Like more buttons. I look for, uh, yeah, I look at the other wolf. I look around for other peculiar okay. things that seem out of place. Make an investigation check, please, with advantage. With advantage? With advantage. So this is pretty straightforward here. <laughs> All right, twenty-six. Okay, you notice that the exact same tooth in the other wolf is also loose. I figured it'd be that, but you never know. Uh, I turn to Doctor Desiris and I say, "Doctor, I need you to go to that other wolf over there and push its tooth as I push the tooth on this one." Do you understand? <laughs> yes. Excellent. All right, on the count of three. One. I press the button. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nothing happens initially, but as soon as you press the button, um, you hear a click and a faint hiss, and you have the sense that maybe a trap was just disarmed. <clears throat> um, I remember the top right corner. <laughs> I will remember this. I thought the mouth of the. What call it? The dire direwolf. Dire yeah, wolf. I thought it was gonna like close on my hand. So something opened. No, it was just like a trap that you just hit. Okay. I <coughs> I'm telling you that because you would never actually find that out. I do oh. remove my hand from the <laughs> dire wolf mouth. The dire wolf comes alive and eats you. Ah. Just kidding. It's just a statue. <coughs> and then I walk up to the door, which you were trying to... I'm so <laughs> rigorously shaken on it. I walk up and I push the other door. No, please. You fool. <laughs> step inside. I'll loosen it up for you. <laughs> I use the other door. I walk in and I go, Butler! Do we know his name? We do not. Alright, I just call out Butler then. We did not find out any of the names of the family members except for Sylvester, I think. Butler! We saw you in the window. Where are you? Show yourself. Didn't tell you the name. You see an elderly man. Okay. First off, you enter the house. All of you enter the house. And you come into this Grand foyer. There's this elaborate ebony staircase leading up to the second floor. Ornate railing. There's like some paintings and portraits on the walls. You presume these are of family members or notable people. <clears throat> Straight ahead of you, you see two enormous ornate doors, and you're not sure what's behind them. To the right of you, you can see a dining room and what seems to be, <clears throat> in behind the dining room, a kitchen. On top of the balcony, or rather, on top of the, the banister, the railing, on the second floor of the staircase, you see an elderly man who looks at you, is all of you, with kind of resignation and a little bit of anger, and he begins walking down the stairs. As he approaches... <clears throat> He's like, What is your business here? My good sir, we are here <laughs> investigating the Aldrich's deaths. We are trying to figure out what killed them and anything else that could be plaguing this town besides the plague. <laughs> the Aldrich's deaths. Yes. And where are you getting your information from? We heard from the mayor of the town as well as the shepherds, the shepherd's boy from down the road. My good sir, the Eldritch are not dead. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> See, now listen here, man. That was a big wrench in our <laughs> I mean, it's very likely the plane could have got him, to be honest. <laughs> If they're not dead, I probably will just leave. Sylvester and his wife did disappear, and we have no clue as to their whereabouts. <laughs> Doctor, later. <laughs> However, please. The young master, Philippe, is upstairs in his bedroom right now. I don't trust a damn word you're saying. Are you Do, do you hear the screams? I heard no screams. There's been, th thank you for reminding me of that. There's been rumors of screams and wails and wolf howling 
from your premises. Yes. There has been a lot of wolf activity around um, lately, but there have been no screams. So you're calling that shepherd's boy a liar? I the boy you call it. I ain't calling it a truther. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I insight? Oh, oh, sure. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. 17. Plus 3, 20, dirty 20. This old fucker is lying through his teeth. Yeah. <laughs> I walk up and I say, this is why, and I turn to everyone, I'm like, this is why you don't trust anybody. And I grab my shirt, I'm like, tell me the truth! He just stands there and takes it with a kind of resigned dignity. Mm. If you're looking for answers, I suggest you go talk to the young master. No, 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 I no. think I will. I Should pull I the shackle butler him aside and, and, and take him with us? The stairs. I mean... He'll just go about his butler duties, but you can make him come if you want. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not letting go of this guy. <coughs> I'll right. trust the sh- I don't trust him one bit. Can I use my dimensional shackles? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> not on the butler. It's no man. He poses no threat. It's up to you. You can do whatever you want. <clears throat> I think about it, but don't do it. Okay. <sighs> I hold the butler against the, the wall, and I let uh, Rowan... Yeah. How about Rowan walk by towards Felipe? You don't see Felipe. No, to find Felipe. Okay. You know, like I'm walking up the stairs to his room. Okay. Where is he, old man? He's in his room upstairs. Playing Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> I do ask that you not disturb him during the daytime, though. Which room? The center room. You can see on top, there's like three rooms. Okay. <clears throat> I'll follow Rowan. Okay. <laughs> Guys, what about the ornate doors? I walk over to the ornate doors while everybody else does. Goes up to the rooms. Are you still holding the bottle? Yes, I refuse to let go of the old bastard. (laughs) I must ask that you unhand me, sir. Not until you tell me the truth. I'm telling you the truth now. (laughs) (laughs) Go speak to Felipe, he knows more about it than I. I don't trust a word, you already lied to me once. Does that know? Stone of truth. Can I intimidate him? Sure, you can do whatever you want, man. Oh. <laughs> He's <laughs> rolling like shit. I rolled a 10. I've been rolling like shit, too. Alright, hold on. I'll roll just to see if no, he's not intimidated. <clears throat> I'm intimidated that he's not intimidated, <laughs> and I don't let him show. Um, well, uh, who else is in the house, aside from you and Master Philippe? All right. <laughs> it's not my place to tell you anything more. If you want information, if you want answers, go talk to... Philly. Yes. For all I know, you know, just a band of thieves coming here to take the Eldritch Fortune. Do we really look like thieves to you? Thieves Is it because I'm a tiefling? Yes. I yell out, that's fair! <laughs> I'm walking up the stairs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. I now like... please unhand me, I have dinner to cook. What are you cooking? Goat. <laughs> You yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I let him go. And I kind of like just gently push him towards the stairs. I don't push him off the stairs. Because I, I know he's walking that way. Okay. He stops, straightens his jacket, wipes off his coattails, mm-hmm. gathers his dignity, and walks off to what you assume is going to be the kitchen. Is there anything in his pockets? I don't know. You don't know. Do you want to pickpocket the bottle? <laughs> <laughs> I walk alongside the bus, butler, and I attempt to go for a pickpocket. <laughs> this is so obvious! Why would you okay. <laughs> Make a sleight of hand check with disadvantage, because he knows you're right there. So roll twice, take the lower number. That's a 15. And that's a 10. And I've got plus 15 sleight of hand. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 25. <laughs> Somehow... <laughs> You do the thing where you like bump into him and reach your hand into his pocket what and he doesn't fuck? notice. He just notices that you bumped into him and he looks at you pretty offended that you just <laughs> blatantly rammed his shoulder into him. <laughs> but he doesn't notice you reach into a pocket and take out his ornate silver pocket watch. I love it was like, you guys should be a bunch of thieves <laughs> walking in here and then you big walk in the ass. I gotta flex my plus 15. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. You gonna check out the pocket watch? I, um... It's a figure up. one of hundreds of power. You can take it to me if you want. I'll check it out for you. 
I know shit. So I think you should start inspecting it right in front of the <laughs> No, no, we'll save it for later. The butler Definitely has continued to walk, and he has now disappeared into the dining room. I open up the pocket watch, yeah, admiring it. You see inscribed on top, to Reginald from Sylvester. I go over to Zoro. Okay. Ah! I let him check it out. <laughs> what a beautiful pocket watch, Sean. When did you get that? I found it laying on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust that. I'm like, all right, I'll take the watch. I'll inspect it for anything. Any kind of magic whatsoever. Yeah, make a mechanic check. Uh, quiet, Doctor. Uh, 29. <laughs> this is a pocket watch. It's probably a pretty treasured heirloom that this guy had. <laughs> it had an inscription on it from the master of the house to his butler, so you assume it has some kind of Can't estimate the value. <laughs> yes, yeah, but with disadvantage, because I don't think you have any experience doing this. Uh, I'm a detective. <laughs> a detective. <laughs> Right, so, uh, oh my god, <laughs> I'll take the three. What is my ruling for? Um, just do an intelligence check. History? <laughs> investigation. history, do investigation or history. Uh, investigation, uh, 13. Do a history check. <laughs> <laughs> Eight. Can you assume that's probably worth, like, two gold pieces? But it's, 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 it's worth a lot more, more to him. A so platinum <laughs> piece is worth, what is it? That's two gold pieces. Oh. <laughs> you, win, you win this time. Yeah, yeah, it's not really that expensive. It's just it's nicely carved. It's nice workmanship. I shrug my shoulders and I throw it at uh, Charlotte. I say, "It's just a watch. Nothing interesting here." And I'll follow uh, for now. And I think it's really pretty. pretty. Yeah, I keep it. All right, <laughs> it's functional. <laughs> Good for you. You now have a pocket watch. Oh know. right, <laughs> uh, uh, Charlotte. What time is it? What time is it? It is about ten p.m. It is about two hours before the darkest night. <laughs> that was poetic. <laughs> <laughs> it's the darkest night, like 3 a.m. though. Uh, <laughs> is it? I don't know. What time of year is this? Yo. I'll call it that. That's summer. How many moons are there? <laughs> <laughs> it's summer. Night has just fallen. After you guys What month is it? It's July. <laughs> it is July. This world had the same well, caliber as us? Yes. This world had Julius Caesar. Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey! Good job, bitch. <laughs> so, are there Greek deities? Make a history check, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. 18. <laughs> you think you might have once heard somebody use a Greek name uh, in reference to a god. Nice. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we solved this. Um, Nothing was, is more exciting than world building. I was gonna say like that what that pocket watch only maybe worth two gold pieces to like a merchant, but if you sell it back to that guy or blackmail him for it, you can get more. So just a thought. What's your you're, alignment again? It's kind of neutral, but I all I'm, right. I'm you're, saying you're a doctor. I'm <laughs> saying that's to him, in that chaotic. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying that's a matter of character. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, this is where we leave off on this episode of Is There a Name for This Adventure? Drunkers I've been calling it Eldrick Manor. That's okay. It. Uh, so this is where we leave off on this episode of Eldrick Manor, an episode of uh, uh, Drunkards and Dragons. So come back next time for the next episode. Thanks.